Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, we are Christmas crafting today and I can't wait to show you what I've come up with. For this DIY, you're gonna need one of the tree forms. I've already taken the tinsel off of this and spray painted it white. Um, a cream slash white chunky yarn. And then I used this um, super light grayish tan um, for the base and it's super easy I also um, trimmed off the little um, things on the side here because they're just a little bit too long for this um, yarn if you had thicker yarn I think you would be okay but um, I like this yarn and I wanted to use it so I just started by um, tying a little knot at the top there and gluing it down and then I just start wrapping the yarn around the tree as tightly as I possibly can and then every so often I just add a little dab of hot glue and just keep turning. Now when you get to the, um, the different tiers that bottom string can kind of be tricky. So I just usually put the whole thing of glue and hold, um, put so that the yarn will stay in place or else it does kind of slip off. Um, I got these tree forms at the dollar store and they're usually like green and red and tinsel, but um, I just love to wrap yarn around anything. And so anytime I see something I can do that with, I always try it. And I love how that this turned out. Once I was done with the top white yarn, I just switched yarns for the bottom and did the exact same thing. I love how these turned out. They are perfect size for a tiered tray, or you could also put a hook on top and do a Christmas ornament. The last thing I did is I just had these natural stars I got from Hobby Lobby and just hot glued one on top. And I love how cozy they look. This video is in collaboration with a bunch of YouTube ladies. We are all sharing um, Christmas crafts with you today. And stay tuned to the end of the video because we also are doing a giveaway. It's so exciting and perfect for Christmas. For the next project, you're gonna need black paint, um, this wooden star that I got at the dollar store, some cute ribbon, and I used my um, cutting machine to cut this out. I will leave the decal, you can buy the cut file in the description box below. It was only $1.50, so this project literally cost me $2.50 because I already had the ribbon and I just had to buy this. So super inexpensive, um, but if you wanna create your own design, you can. I just loved this one, so I'm going to use it.
I will leave in the description box um, where I purchased the um, cut file from if you want to check it out. I love going on Etsy and finding these. I am not good at using the cut machine and so when I can find things like this that are cute and easy for me to do, I love those kinds of projects. Okay, here is my star. I love how that turned out. And now I'm just going to thread my ribbon through the top here. And then this would make a really cute, these would make if you wanted to do like some really big ornaments on your tree. Um, I'm making this one with the intent to hang it in the middle of a wreath. And I will show you that. But I think that they would be so cute on a Christmas tree because especially if you have a big Christmas tree, they'll fill in. Um, a good amount of space but you could do um, this listing has several different um, sayings so you, they don't all have to be the same but this was my favorite and I will show you how it looks on the wreath I would love for you to come chat with me over on Instagram if you're not already. Um, I share lots of in the moment things on there and DIYs and home decor projects. I'd love to have you over there. So for the next project, this kind of has evolved over the time of planning it. I had ideas to just do something super small and then it has evolved, which I love where it has gone. So I'm gonna share that with you today. But the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to cut a bunch of paper into seven and a quarter by four. Um, I'm doing 25 of them because I'm going to do a Christmas countdown and I will show you that in just a second. But um, I'm gonna show you how we are going to make these. So what we're gonna do is um, you want to use a little bit thicker paper. So this is um, cardstock, and you need some um, some tape. And all we're gonna do is um, roll them in a circle like this. Line up the edges as best as you can. Take some tape. You could use like adhesive roll or something like that, but we're going for easy here. Um, and I just lined the whole seam here with tape and you can hardly even see it. And it doesn't bother me that the line, the words don't line up, but okay. So once you have like a little roll like this, so fun, you are going to take your um, stapler and you are going to pinch the bottom and you're gonna to wanna to, uh, match up this end piece right here and just um, put in two staples there on the bottom, like that. And you can trim this if it doesn't line up, but mine lines up pretty well. So this is where it gets fun. You could put some money in there and tie this to a present, which that was my first original idea, 
But then as I got making them, I realized, you know what, this would be such a cute um, countdown, ca uh, advent calendar. So I'm going to put in a couple treats in there. Um, you could also put like different activities you wanted to do for the holiday or like random acts of kindness or whatever. And then you're going to flip it and turn it the opposite way and you're going to staple that side down. So you have this really cute little present thing. And so what we're going to do now is um, I have printed a bunch of numbers on my computer and I just used this um, punch and punched them out. And for the advent calendar, all we're going to do is just staple these on, on here like that. Um, another thing I thought would be cute is I made um, this one yet last night and I loved I loved that paper but I found these really cute tags at Walmart and that this is where I got the idea to just put them on a gift box uh, present you could just tie these on and like that and that would be so cute too um, let me just show you a couple little tag sets I ended up getting at Walmart. So I got these black and white ones. They're fun. These are my favorite. These are wooden little Christmas lights. I think they are so cute. Um, I have an idea for these too, a different idea. But And then you have your typical farmhouse ones. This Merry and Bright one is Darling. This Farm Fresh Christmas tree one. Anyway, I think that this, you could do whatever you wanted with this, but I still wanted to give you the idea. And then I'm going to show you how I'm gonna um, make this into an advent calendar. Okay, so I have all of my little numbers put on the packages. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this dollar store ribbon and I'm just gonna um, string it out and use one of these clothes pins from the dollar store and pin them to this, like that and then just hang the ribbon up um, somewhere. And I think that would be so cute and you can just put them all on here, obviously in order. You, I did, I did put a hole in them so you could even string the ribbon on but I love those little tiny paper clips so I wanna use them. Um, Anyway, that's really cute. And then I just wanted to show you that I used one of those um, little wooden tags from Walmart with some dollar store ribbon. And I think this would be cute attached to a wrapped present or maybe in a stocking with some money in it or something. Very last project, I am going to finish using the yarn that I used on the trees. I have another wreath form from Walmart and I'm going to use these um, little ornaments that I got at Walmart. Oh, these are just so cute. Okay, all I'm going to do is wrap the um, 
this wreath form with the yarn. You guys, I love to wrap things with yarn. It's like one of my favorite things to do. Um, and I'm just gonna overlap it. I'm not gonna make it look perfectly uniform. I'm just gonna keep wrapping, keep wrapping until it is all the way um, around. And hopefully I have enough Okay, so I wrapped the whole entire thing with that yarn. It took, I still had this much left over. So I did um, three trees and this wreath and it was $4.99 and you can get it half off. So for $2 for that. And then I, like I told you before, I got the um, ornaments at Walmart for $1.98 and then the wreath form was a dollar so super inexpensive wreath and I cannot wait to get this hung up and show you guys um, I just tied a piece of Baker's twine um, with the ornaments so that they wouldn't move and then just tied it to the wreath so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed that one enjoyed today's video and that you will go in the description box and click the next cute ladies video and watch that and make sure you comment on everybody's video to enter to win the um, giveaway prizes the way prizes are hundred dollar gift cards to Target Walmart and the dollar store that is to fulfill all of your crafting needs or if not, you can use it for some Christmas money. Anyway, you guys, I'm so excited to be back and in the full swing of making videos. And obviously Christmas is right around the corner and it's my favorite time to decorate. So stay tuned for all of that and I will catch you guys in my next video. See you later. Bye.